sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right. Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install and uh, set up a little bit of the uh, WX track. It's a uh, satellite tracking software, as you can see here. So, I'll throw a link in the description to my website for this, but we just need to go down here and click on WX Download, and that's going to bring us down to this. So, we can go ahead and download this guy. And once this is downloaded, we'll go ahead and open it up here. Now, let me make a folder here for the purpose of this video. All right, so now what we can do is unzip this guy. And if we open it up, we got a lot going on in here, so we just need to scroll down until we get to the WX track little yellow circle here. Now, I already have this installed, so it may ask you to install it. But anyway, once this comes up, we have the setup, world map, ground, path, flight. So, when you get this installed, it'll say, you know, here's some information. <clears throat> we need to put some satellites over here in the active uh, box here. So, we can scroll down through here and get the satellites that we want. We'll just go ahead and pick Noah 19, 18, 15. But as you can see, there's a good many here. So if we just basically go right over to the world map, as you can see, here they are. There's 18. I think it's 15. There's 19. Now, this might be a little hard to see here on the recording, but you could select on this and kind of highlight it. Then it'll show the path of where it's going to be going to and from same way with if you click on that one or you click on this guy up here so we can change the the color of the circles the dashes or solids and to do that we can go to option line style now under here you can uh, change the one we got highlighted right here so we can change it to whatever you feel like so we can do a solid and then if we want a certain color for this particular satellite we can do so we can make the lines a little bit bigger a little thicker to see so there we go so now if we go back up there other satellites we can do the same thing if you want so there they are so now once you click on an active one it'll change to the first color that we set up so for whatever you select on it'll change to that color all the other satellites will be this style or we can change it to dash so you may have to restart the program for for it to take effect but uh, it will uh, start over and change that so we have that we have some uh, different options here for the following you could set up your home mark you can change the uh, text size the font you can update the refresh you can play sounds or turn sounds off text overlay which is what's down here so you can uh, change some of that or add some if you want and to what line you want it on We have some options here 
for the track models but uh, you have some other options here then we have the ground flight so we have this going on now I haven't messed with this but uh, that might be another video so here we have the flight now I'm not sure what this is totally doing other than taking its good old time printing something out but we're just going to go ahead and stop it alright and another thing you can do if we go to options and click on the map projection here you can change this to different views here so you got a couple different options there of what to do down here in bank one it'll list what uh, satellites we added So, you know, there's a good bit of things that this does, that's for sure. But uh, I've seen online some people are having some issues kind of getting started with this. So I kind of figured let's just try to make a video about it and hopefully it'll help out. That's pretty much it. I'll throw a link in the description. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.